Throughout my high school years, I have never thought that there existed a digital replacement for the good old handwritten notes in mathematics. I used to have separate notebooks for my class notes, for my homework exercises, for the extra problems I did in preparation for my exams, and for my Olympiad prep. And they would never last for more than a month. But I thought that this was the way, that's how maths has been done since the beginning of time and who am I to reconsider this? Especially since my high school had quite a strict policy regarding the use of laptops, tablets and mobile phones during class. They were seen as a distraction rather than a tool to help us learn and retain information in a better way. And then the summer before university happened. Trying to do my research and to find out anything I could about studying maths at degree level and going to a prestigious university in another country, I came across several videos titled How I Take Notes Using My iPad, and my mind was simply blown. That changed everything and I have never looked back ever since. So hi everybody and thanks for being here today. My name is Joanna and I have just finished my first year as a mathematics student at the University of Oxford. In this video, I want to take you through my note-taking process and discuss what accessories and apps I use to make it all seamlessly work for me. As you could probably tell from my intro, I very much prefer taking notes on my iPad rather than on paper. Obviously, typing up notes for maths is not really an option, unless you type really fast and are some sort of god at LaTeX. But handwriting your notes digitally sits at the intersection between note-taking on paper and typed-up notes. They give you the benefit of accessing your notes on all of your devices, searching for keywords within your notes, organizing everything more effectively and in a way that works best for you personally, and sharing your notes with only one tap. As you've probably heard before, scientists always encourage handwriting your notes rather than typing them up, since handwriting is slower and it helps you retain the information that you're putting down way better, since you need to make a conscious decision on what exactly it is from the lecture that you're taking notes from or the textbook that you're going to write down. It's also said that a person retains something eight times faster when writing it down rather than when simply reading it. So needless to say, writing your notes on your iPad is the best of both worlds. So I'm going to split this video up into three main sections. We're going to talk about what accessories and tools I use, what software, and what are the settings that I use within that particular app. So I use the iPad Pro 2020, the 11 inch model. I know that it is very expensive and I definitely thought about it as quite the investment when I decided to buy it last summer. But I think that it was worth it for me, as I only take notes digitally now and I plan on using it throughout all my university years. However, you can definitely go for a cheaper option, such as the iPad 8 generation or the iPad Air 4, which do the exact same job and you wouldn't notice a difference while taking your notes. I paired it up with the Apple Pencil 2nd generation, which is the only Apple Pencil that works with the iPad Pro, and in the, in the beginning that was pretty much everything that I needed to effectively take my notes. When I got to university, I also bought a case that allowed the iPad to stand up for when I needed to use it for um, my Zoom meetings. And I have found an incredibly great offer on Amazon that I'm actually going to link down below so you can check it out because it's really really awesome. There was this case that came together with a Bluetooth keyboard for your iPad and it was for such an affordable price so I went for it and I absolutely love it. I use the keyboard only in physics related classes when I need to put something down very quickly and I know that it will not involve much mathematical language. Oh, and the keyboard also has some LED lights that um, just makes all the keyboards light up when you type and that just looks simply amazing. Here's the thing, I have never thought of myself as the type, the type of person that would like a screen protector on my iPad. But everyone kept talking about how the paper-like screen protector made your note-taking experience so much better and it made everything feel like paper. It was during my exam season that I realized that maybe I could write a bit faster on paper and I got a bit worried knowing that all my exams had such time-limited conditions. But I didn't really want to go back onto paper because what would have been the point of actually getting an iPad and spending all of my terms taking my notes digitally if I were just to write my exams on paper. 
So I decided to try to use this famous screen protector. At first, I absolutely hated it. I thought that it ruined my iPad. But after using it for a week or so, I must say that it is really, really amazing. I got more used to it and I think it also attached better to my iPad after using it for a while. It does indeed feel like paper and it makes everything so much quicker. So that's exactly what I was going for. Moving on to the app I use, there's really not much to be talking about since I only use one app, which is GoodNotes 5. It is $8 on the App Store and it is a one-time payment, which I think is absolutely worth it. I know that there is a whole discussion going around about whether you should use GoodNotes 5 or Notability, but personally, I haven't tried Notability yet. I know that it is also a really, really nice app, but I also think that it just all comes down to your personal preference. If you'd like, I could also maybe dig a little bit deeper into this and make some more videos about Notability versus GoodNotes 5, or maybe try some free note-taking apps such as OneNote or Colonote. Moving on to my settings and organization, I have quite a very simple system. I created a folder for the current academic year and within that folder, I have created subfolders for each and every one of my courses so I can easily access everything whenever I need to. And yeah, within these subfolders, I just have all the files related to that specific course, which are basically just a notebook containing all the lecture notes and separate files for my solutions to the problem sheets. So let's jump straight into some of my lectures notes to illustrate everything that I'm going to talk about. I have lately used a dark paper template for Jenny's studies that I will also link in the description below since it's a bit easier on the eyes than the white paper and I also think that it looks so much better. There is a sort of dark paper in GoodNotes 5 but it's more towards the grey shade and I just prefer the one that I downloaded. While taking my notes, I just use the squared paper because I feel like that's just the default for maths and it makes the writing be more straight and everything seems more organized and better looking on the paper. After finishing writing a page, I change it to the plain paper so that everything looks more clean and organized. For my pen, I simply use the ball pen with a thickness of 0.6 millimeters or 0.6 six five millimeters for everything i write except for my titles for which i use a pen that has a thickness of 1.5 millimeters before starting a new notebook i always take some time to choose what colors i want to use because i feel like if i also concentrate on making stuff look pretty i pay i pay a bit more attention to the things i'm writing down so i just go for the color custom option and uh, if i'm writing on dark paper i use five or six colors from the third row from the bottom because I feel like those colors are the ones that look best on dark paper. So for this notebook, I use the white pen plus these five colors from this last row here. So for my title and subtitles, I use the purple pen, this one. For the titles, I usually use capital letters and the thicker pen. So it would look something like this. To make it look a bit better, I also grab the highlighter tool in the exact same color I use for the title and I just make two straight lines on each side of the paper because I just feel like it looks really good. I don't have a reason for it, but I just feel like it does. And if it's not straight, then I just grab the lasso tool and I make it really nice there. For my subtitles, I use the exact same purple pen, but with a normal thickness and simply underline it. So it would be something like this. For any theorems, propositions or lemmas, um, I use this dark blue to purple pen and just write all of the content of the theorem with this color and then I put it in a box so it stands out to me. So it will look something like theorem followed by a colon, underlined, and I guess here comes the theorem. And I simply box it up. If I uh, tap and hold on the line, GoodNotes just straightens it, which I think that is really, really nice. I write all of my proofs or definitions in white. So just something like proof, definition, anything 
because these take up the most space and I just don't want to have a huge color explosion on my page. For any key terms within definitions or proofs, I simply write it in this pink reddish color that I have here, um, just so that it really stands out within all the white text. For any tasks or something that we are going to prove further in the lecture, I just put the question into a blue box in the center of the page. So it will be something like question, let's put a question mark and I'm going to box it up again because I feel like it gives a bit more structure to your notes if you just have everything like in boxes. Lastly, for any key observations, procedures, algorithms, anything like this, I just write it all out in this orange color. So it would be something like observation, whatever happens. I know it seems a bit overwhelming right now, but I will leave you at the end of the video with a time lapse of me taking notes for an actual lecture so you'll see what I'm talking about. One more thing that I actually use all the time is I screenshot something from the lecture like the graph of a function or simply an image and put them in the lecture since visuals always help me retain information faster. Yeah, I think that was everything I wanted to talk to you about today. I hope you found this video helpful and that you can use some of this information in your own note-taking process. I leave you with a time lapse of me taking some notes, but firstly, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more university and maths-related content. Follow me on Instagram for more if you feel like it. And yeah, have a wonderful day and I will hopefully see you in another video. So, goodbye! I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed I'm down at this waistline, right below your waistline, want you by my head I'm done with all this face time, need some alone time, baby You're always running in my mind I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed you close to missing your existence Fill my head with some clouds, baby Fill my brain with some ecstasy I'm sick of daydreaming I just want the feeling of you in my bed I'm down at this waistline, right below your waistline Want you by my head I'm done with all this face time, need some alone time, baby You're always running in my mind I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed I know you're tired of waiting, but my friends say that we need some patience We don't wanna wait no more, can't take breaks no more I've needed company from you lately Fill my head with some clouds, baby The feeling of you in my bed I'm down at just waste time Right below your waistline Want you by my head I'm down with all this face time Need some alone time, baby You're always running in my mind I'm sick of daydreaming I just want the feeling of you in my bed I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to 
You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Ooh. 